हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कूपर एजुकेट टू एम्पावर स्क्रैच जूनियर ऑनलाइन कोर्स लेसन 11 इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू मेक अ रोड क्रॉस गेम वेरी इजी गेम फर्स्ट लेट्स लुक इनटू द प्रोजेक्ट वी हैव टू मेक दिस मैन गो टुवर्ड्स द फ्लावर एंड वी हैव टू क्रॉस दिस रोड फॉर दैट हेयर इज अ डेंजर लाइन फॉर हिज लाइफ एंड एज सुन एज इट हिट्स द ब्लॉक आउटसाइड द गेम विल बी ओवर विल यूज द ट्राइंगल टू मूव द मैन so we have to be very careful when we are moving on the road if it collides with the car the danger line increases let's move again so as soon as it hits the flower you won the game so let's look into the coding now to do the coding we'll start with the blank project and we'll delete the sprite that comes with this project we'll add three more pages and we need total four pages and we'll delete the sprite that comes on all the pages the first page is the welcome page we'll design the welcome page i've already painted it green so i'll choose that click on the abc on the top and write the text position the text where you want also write play again up play now we need a button so we'll click on and add the sprite i have already created a button here it's just a circle and fill in the circle with the color you want position the circle and then increase the size of the circle by using the grow block click on the grow block until the size is appropriate now we'll do the coding for this when the sprite is clicked that is start on the tap character then it should go to the second page which is the actual page game so we'll put the coding block here so whenever the sprite is clicked it will go to the next page the next page is the actual coding game we'll design it at the end let's design the game over page let's choose the background i'll choose the orange background here click on the abc on the top and type game over oops over position the text and here you give them an option also to play again position the text and also a button to click on you can choose any color i have just choose the light green color here position the button again use the grow block to increase the size of the button until appropriate once the button is clicked when the game is over we want them to go to the play now page again that is the welcome page so we'll go to the red blocks and use the first page where we want to get it directed now we'll design the u1 page again go to the image choose the green one and click tick in the abc type u 1 position the text but still we give them an option to play again so we'll type the text and position it we give them a button to be clicked again we'll choose a circle and click tick on the top now position the circle where you want it to be on the purple block click the grow block and increase the size until appropriate now when this button is clicked we want it to be directed to the first welcome page so we'll use the red blocks again and the yellow block when clicked it should be directed to the first page so these are our pages the welcome page the game over page and the u1 page now we'll design the actual game page let's design the background first we we'll click on the image i have already created the background but i'll show you how to create this one click on the paint choose the square here draw the square 
click on the fill option fill in the square with green color now you can choose the square again to design the road let's choose the black color for the road so we can design the road like this similarly we have two roads so we'll design the road here as well we'll fill in the roads with the black color now we want the lining in the road which is white the direction lines so we can design the directions line like this and we can fill in the direction line with white color so this is how i have designed this i'll just choose the one that i have already created i'll just go back again i click on this one that i have already created and i click tick to bring it to the page now as the background is done we need to add all the sprites in it let's add the sprites for the cars we have the car and the buses for the vehicles on the road let's look for that so these are the car let's select this add another Let's fix the size first. Click on the purple grow blocks and the shrink blocks. Shrink the size of the car until appropriate and position the car on the road. Similarly for the first car, we'll choose the shrink block, shrink the size of the car until appropriate and we'll position it on the road. Let's add the bus now. So here is the bus. Shrink the size of the bus until appropriate. Use the grow and shrink block. Position the bus on the road. You can add another bus or a car. It's your wish. But I am adding another bus. And let's shrink the size of the bus using the shrink and grow block. The purple blocks. And we'll shrink the size and place it where we want it to be now we need a man who has to cross the road let's click on the plus sign again add the man let's add the teen here let me put it here use the shrink block to shrink the size of the person uh, it's shrinked more use the grow block to increase the size put position the sprite now we want a triangle so i've already painted a triangle let me show you how to do that click on the triangle here make the triangle of your preferred color fill in the triangle with that color and select position the triangle on the right you can increase the size a bit and position it again we also need a lifeline here and a flower here so we'll add that let's add the flower first let's position the flower and shrink its size now let's add the lifeline to create a lifeline let's click on the paint choose the square and choose the color black make the boundary and click tick position the boundary here increase its size using the grow block now we need the lifeline inside it click on the paint square again and make it red color create it and fill it with the red color again and click tick position it inside the box because we want it to increase its size and hit the box so that we know when the game is over so these are all the sprites let's begin the coding now let's start by coding the vehicles Let's go on the top. Let's start with the car, the driver. 
we'll use the green flag as the trigger then we want the car to move forward but at a human speed so we'll use the set speed block and we'll set the speed to walking we will use the forward block move right block and we'll let it move maybe 99 times we'll put this thing inside a loop because we want it to continue move, moving so we'll use the repeat looping here and let it be 4 we want the same coding in the driver as well in the second driver we'll put it here we want the same in the bus as well because we want it to keep moving and in the bus second one as well now we also want that when we hit the green flag it should come back to their original position so all the cars or the driver or the bus should come back to their original position which is go home so when we hit the green flag they all come back to the original position we'll put the same coding in all the driver and the bus now let's code the next one which is the human so what we want human to do is whenever the triangle is clicked the human should move upward so let's go on the triangle first when the triangle is clicked actually it should send a message that message should be forwarded to the human so let's go back to the human teen again when the message is received by the human we'll go in the blue blocks we'll choose the move up block and it should move up by one step now we also want to program the human that as soon as the human hits the bus it should disappear so the yellow one will use the start on bump when it hits the bus or driver any anything we'll use the purple block the hide block it should hide for a while then it should come back to its original place which is on the start the original so we'll put the blue block here now when it hits the bus we also want to send a message to the lifeline here so we'll send another message we'll send a message we have used the orange color already this time we'll use the red color so as soon as it hits the bus it will send a red message which will actually go to the character here before we go there we also want the human to go back to its original place whenever we click the green flag so we'll use the go home button here and the green flag here so this is all the coding for it now with the coding for the red message so as soon as the character which is the red one it gets the red message let me get the message the message and change the color here to red it should increase its size basically let us increase its size by 5 so this is what its coding is with the square box whenever the square box is touched or hit with something that is whenever it is touching this it should actually take us to the game over page so let it be directed to the game over page so we have done the coding for all of this now the coding for flower is left when we click on the flower what happens is when the human touches the flower that is whenever a flower is bumped what should happen it should go to the u1 page so we'll go to the red box we'll choose the u1 page which is the fourth page for us and it will be directed to that page so this is the coding for all the characters now let's look into the project let's click on the green flag and test what we have designed the car is moving and the bus is also moving on both the roads let's click on the triangle here to make the human move let's hit the bus intentionally to see if yeah the screen the lifeline is working it's increasing its size again let's move on the top and hit a bus again Let's test again the hit bus feature to see if the game over screen appears. Yep. Yeah. So we get the game over. So we'll let's click on the play again. We'll play again. Now let's touch the flower 
and be careful on the road yes so this is the game i hope you liked it